So you might have heard the phrase Brexit. Brexit is a mix of Britain and Exit, used to represent the referendum in the UK to leave the EU. Now, you may be curious as to why the UK would want to leave the EU, and in order to fully understand that, you have to know about the current situation in the UK and the EU. So basically, in 2013, David Cameron, the Prime Minister at the time, wanted to get re-elected. In order to do that, he made a promise to try to reform the EU, and then to hold a referendum on whether or not they should leave the EU. Quote, with a very simple in or out choice, end quote. Not surprisingly, Cameron's party, the Conservatives, won the general election in 2015, and Cameron continued as Prime Minister. The real problem was that not many people in the UK really understood the power of the fact that they were getting a vote on whether or not they should leave the EU, nor did they realize the impact that leaving would have on their day-to-day -day lives. In fact, according to Google Trends, on June 24th, right after the polls closed, there was a huge spike of people in the UK searching, what is Brexit and what is the EU? It would have been great if they had searched those things up before the referendum, but no, they had to wait until it was too late. So what did the Leave campaign say that made the citizens want to leave? Here are 6 arguments from the Leave campaign. Argument 1. The EU threatens the UK sovereignty. This argument is somewhat true, since the citizens of the UK are forced to follow the laws of the EU. Also, some people in the UK think that they are not represented well enough in the European Parliament. However, the UK is tied with Italy for the third largest section of the European Parliament with 73 seats. Compare that to the 20 countries that have 21 seats or less. Honestly, the UK should be happy with their position in the EU. It is true that the UK is underrepresented, but this is the case for the six most populous countries in the EU. So this argument is not really that true. Argument 2. The EU is strengthening the UK in burdensome regulations. This is very true. The Secretary of State for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs, Boris Johnson himself said, Sometimes these EU rules are ludicrous. Like, you can't recycle a tea bag, or children under 8 cannot blow balloons, or limits on the power of vacuum cleaners. End quote. Some of these regulations may have reasoning behind them, but could also sound silly, and it could be burdensome for a country to follow regulations that they do not have a complete buy-in in. Buy-in in. Buy in, in. You know what I'm saying. So this argument is true. Argument 3. The UK could keep the money it currently sends to the EU. Along with all the regulations the EU puts on the UK, there are also dues that must be paid to the EU. However, the Leave campaign skewed this argument in their favor. According to Michael Gove, the former justice minister and a leading Leave supporter, the UK spends £350 million a week for the EU, and if they leave the EU, they can save all of that money. However, according to financial analysts, this estimate is much too high. The actual value is closer to £136 million pounds when accounting for rebates and all the money sent back from the EU to the UK. Depending on how much the UK wants to distance itself from Europe, we're not sure if the UK will be able to save all of that money. And if the UK wants to stay in the single market, which is what most politicians want, it'll still have to pay dues to the EU. So this argument is not really that true. Argument 4. The EU the EU entrenches corporate interests and prevents radical reforms. Though most Brexiteers are far-right politicians, there are people on the liberal side of things who want to leave as well. Some liberal-minded people in the UK believe that the EU is overly undemocratic. And this is true, considering that the people of Europe can't remove the people in charge of the EU if they are unhappy with the way things are going. So this argument is true. Argument 5. The EU allows too many immigrants and the UK could have a more rational immigration system outside the EU. This argument is probably what caused most leave sentiments. Under the laws of the EU, European nationals don't need a visa to travel within the EU. As long as the immigrants are citizens of the EU, they could come and go from the UK. Things weren't that big of a deal until the global recession of 2008. If people couldn't find jobs at home, they looked towards the UK, France, and Germany. 333,000 new people entered the UK in 2015 alone. However, this is still less than the amount the US received relative to population. When the immigrants poured into the UK, they took up many jobs, upsetting the people in the UK. However, since the UK left the EU, it has full control of its borders and can limit the number of people entering. Nevertheless, after the Leave campaign won, they made a statement along the lines of, don't expect any less immigrants. So what was the point of this argument? To me, it seems untrue and and misleading. Argument 6. The EU is likely to fall in relative importance in the world. This is not true, considering that, according to the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and the CIA World Factbook, the EU as a whole 
is either the first or second largest economy in the world. And if more member countries are added, which the EU is good at, and their economies continue growing, it will continue to be important. So this argument is not true. So there you have it. Although the Leaf campaign made a few true statements, many of their arguments were unsubstantial. The Leaf campaign was the Pied Piper for the people of the UK, and many of the voters did not realize the enormity of their decision. At first, they wanted Brexit, but now they're having regrexit. Thank you to my friends Tejas, Eugen, and Rishma for helping me to not go it alone. Also, thank you to my mom and dad who got tired of my ranting about Brexit and said, why don't you just put your ideas and words on a paper? I thought I could take it one step further and put it on a video, thinking it shouldn't take too long, right? Maybe a week or two. It only took me about a month. At least I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.